Would you believe me if I tell you that I created this whole awesome and good looking PowerPoint presentation slide deck in just around 10 seconds? Well, you better believe it, because later in this video, I will be showing you exactly how I did it. This PowerPoint presentation deck was just auto-generated from a plain Microsoft Word file. Alright. Let's start. The first thing that we need to do is prepare our MS Word file, making sure that it is read by PowerPoint properly. Since I don't have a Word file with a sample data that we can use, I used Copilot and asked it to list the top cell phones of 2023, along with its overview, pros and cons. I copied Copilot's answer to a text file to make it a plain text and remove all the format. I then copied this plain text data to a Word file. And just to be clear, you don't need to do any of this. I'm just doing this to generate a sample data that we can use. Okay. The most important thing that we need to do for the Word file is make sure that you format the sections properly. We will need to define the normal paragraph, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, and so on. When you convert this MS Word data to a PowerPoint slide, it will look for those formatting to determine when to create a new slide and how slide contents are rendered. Normal paragraph and heading 1 formats are triggers to create a new slide, and they will also be the title text of that slide. Heading 2 formatted text will be rendered as a level 1 bulleted item, while heading 3 is a level 2 bullet, and so on. For example, this 1 plus 11 item here. I have formatted the 1 plus 11 text as heading 1, which means it will be a title of a slide. I then formatted pros, cons and overview as heading 2, which means these 3 will be a level 1 bullet items. Then the text details under them are formatted as heading 3, which means they will be children bullet items. And all details of the 1 plus 11 section will be rendered into one slide. I have already formatted all text here properly, with each cell phone model as heading 1. Then the first line here, which is the title of the Word document, I left it formatted as a normal paragraph, which will be our title slide when we import this to PowerPoint later. Make sure that you understand these formatting in Word and to apply them properly. Without these proper formatting, PowerPoint will not be able to generate the data in the slides properly. Alright. Let's now open PowerPoint and open a new presentation. By default, there is always one slide here, which we don't need, since we are creating all the slides based on the Word file, so let's just delete this blank slide. Now, go to the Home Ribbon tab, then expand the new slide ribbon. Then click Slides from Outline. Then select the Word file that we created and formatted earlier. Oops. The Word file is still open. We will need to close that before we can import its contents to PowerPoint, so let's close it, then let's try again. New Slide, then Slides from Outline. Then select the Word file. You will see the progress here at the status bar below. There we go. Within just two seconds, we were able to create whole PowerPoint presentation deck from a basically plain text MS Word file. Amazing. If we check, all the details are here, as we have formatted in the Word file. Each Heading 1 formatted lines creates a new PowerPoint slide, with its Heading 2 and Heading 3 children as the content of the slide. Looks like everything is here. The slides does not look that good though, isn't it? Well, we can take care of that easily. First on the title slide, just like what I showed in the PowerPoint Slide Master video last week, we can right-click in the slide, then go to Layout, and we can change the layout to be a title slide. We then just delete the extra text boxes here. Then to change the looks of the whole deck, we can go to the Design Ribbon tab, from here you change the colors, fonts, effects, and background style of the whole presentations, which were also discussed in the last week's video. But the easiest way to make everything look good is to go to the themes. We have about 32 themes here that you can use, and you can download more. You can hover your mouse to a theme to see a preview in the current slide. When you have decided, just click the theme you want, and that theme will be applied to all the slides in the deck. Let's select this professional looking one here. And there you go. We can even add a picture in the slide, if you want to make it look better, like this free picture here from Pexels.com. There we go. As I've told you earlier. In just about 10 seconds, we were able to create a whole properly working and professional looking PowerPoint presentation deck. Really easy and fun to do. And just to show you that all the data from the Word file are here, and also to demonstrate further how important the formatting in the Word is, let's compare the two files. Let me just open the Word file again here. Alright. So as you can see, the title slide here is the Word file's header text, formatted as a normal paragraph. We then have Google Pixel 8 Pro formatted as Heading 1 in Word, created a new slide in PowerPoint, and that Heading 1 is the slide's title text. Then we have the Pros, Cons, and Overview, formatted as Heading 2 in the Word file, which became the Level 1 bullet items in the PowerPoint slide. And all of the Level 2 bullets here, the Children bullets, are the text that are formatted as Heading 3 in the Word file. You can cascade these bullets up to Heading 5 I think. 
then all the other heading 1 lines in the Word have their own corresponding slides in the PowerPoint, with the same bullet formats for the heading 2 and heading 3 lines. I hope I am explaining this clearly to you, as I want to emphasize how important the formatting from the Word file is, since they dictate how they will be interpreted when you import them to PowerPoint. Since the PowerPoint presentation is created, you can do with it what you want. You can save the deck, use it for your presentations, and other PowerPoint stuffs. Okay. Let's do one more sample by recreating the presentation that I showed you at the start of this video. I have a pre-formatted Word file here for work-life balance topic. I have the title and the page 1 with normal paragraph format. Then all the details here are formatted as heading 1, 2, 3, and some even goes down to heading 4. This section for assess your current situation is too long, so I divided it into two slides. I basically just added another heading 1 text here at the middle, and noted that it is a continuation. Everything here are already formatted properly. Let's now close Word, then open PowerPoint and create a new blank presentation. As usually, let's delete the default slide. Then expand new slide, and click slide from outline. Let's now select the work-life balance Word file. It's now loading. There we go. Let's change the layout of the first slide to be a title slide. Then go to design ribbon tab, and let's select this red colored theme. There it is. Exactly the same PowerPoint presentation that I showed at the beginning of the video. We have the introduction. Then the two-part assess your current situation section. And all the other sections here below. Alright. So, if you are one of those people who always have great ideas, and have a lot of important and intelligent contents to share, but is lacking on the creativity side of things, then this trick will greatly help you be a total package. Now, you can just focus on your contents, list them in MS Word, outline them properly, then just import the Word outline into PowerPoint, and apply a theme, and you're all done. You just need to worry on the contents from now on, and let PowerPoint take care of the rest. Hopefully this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.